Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm doing a video today on just a bunch of odd stuff. I forgot in my video the other day to show you a couple things and I actually got up to show you something and thought I paused my video when I actually, I guess, just shut it off. So I was going to pick up where I left off, plus I have a Dollar Tree haul, just a small haul, and um, a demonstration of something I got on Timu. And also, you know, I've been trying to figure out a way to add something to my pen grip to make it more spongy since I grip it so tight. So if you watched my last video, you know, I bought the wrong thing. It didn't fit my pen. So I'm going to show you what I did. I think I haven't tried it yet, but I think it might do the trick. So let's jump in where I left off. Um, I was going to show you what I did with my washi tape to enhance the border of a small 8x8 diamond painting that I did of a cockatiel. Now, granted, the 8x8 is very pixelated. You really have to look at this picture from a distance. But um, I painted the outside edge where the legend is white, white chalk paint. And I, I think I did two or three coats. And then on the inside of the frame, outside of the diamond line, I put the washi tape and I framed it in one of the Walmart frames. So this is the cockatiel and far away, it doesn't look that pixelated, but up close. And it is a Timu diamond painting, but I'm going to give you a close up because the washi tape is this stripe of blue right here. And then this white part is the frame on the um, the actual canvas that I painted white, which it was already white, but I wanted to get rid of the legend and all the writing. But it is one of the Walmart frames that just snaps right in. You take the glass out and then you put the picture in and then you push the glass on top. So it turned out fine. I have it hanging in my kitchen and I like it. So I, I am going to do the washi tape frame a little bit more now since that one turned out pretty good. The other thing I didn't show you um, from Timu was this pill cutter. And it's really inexpensive. It was a dollar and some change. But if you ever need to cut a pill in half, then you can use the oblong size pills or caplets or the round. Either will fit. So it looks like that when you open it up, there's the blade. So you want to be careful you don't put your fingers in there. But you just put your pill down inside and scoosh it back. And then you just close the lid. And you guys probably know this, but it was pretty neat. And then you just snap it closed. And it does a perfect cut with no mess and no struggle. And it keeps it in there so it doesn't go flying. Like I would cut it with scissors and one part would go flying and I didn't know where it went. But anyway, um, I'll put that in my description and the link to go check it out if you're interested. Okay, so one of the things I also forgot to show you was another one of the canvases. Now I did show you the box in Sunday, I guess that was yesterday, Sunday's video, and I did frame it, and I think it did turn out pretty good. And so, um, it was really easy and inexpensive. So I did find a place in my apartment to hang it in my hallway. But now I have this one, and I did know that this one was a canvas, not a diamond painting, but I had to have it. And if you all listen to Christian music, there is a song that um, I really like. I don't listen to a lot of the songs that often, but the one that I really loved was I Can Only Imagine. And um, if you don't know the song and you're curious, you can just go to YouTube or Google and type in I Can Only Imagine. I forget who sings it. I'm not really good with artists, but this is the picture. I wish I could play it, but I know it's a copyright, so I can't play it on my video. But I really encourage you to um, go and listen to it. 
So the words on it are the words from the song. Surrounded by your glory, I'm not going to sing it because, you know, that would surely chase everyone away. But surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. And that's just beautiful. And it's made of a soft canvasy material. So I went to the Dollar Tree today specifically to see if I could find a frame. And I always carry my measuring tape with me. Except today, I forgot, I forgot to put it back in my purse. So I bought a frame that I think will fit it. And I'll get to that when I do my Dollar Tree haul. So anyway, let me start with the first item that I bought. And I bought this years ago. And then all of a sudden, they stopped selling it. And I like to put conditioner in my hair that you don't need to rinse out. I know it's kind of a lazy thing, but it also is better on my hair. It seems like if I do spray and conditioner that you don't wash out, it's easier to comb my hair out. I have really baby fine hair and it tangles so easy. So um, I've been buying this years ago. Um, it's olive oil hair sheen. Oh, you know what? I got the wrong thing. I put it down and picked it back up. This isn't the spray and conditioner. So anyway, this is something else. It's this brand, but it's spray and detangler is what I wanted. And I got excellent for natural hair. I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what you use that for. So never mind. Oh, I'll have to go back and get that spray and conditioner in the next few days, not today. Okay, so then I got some items, food items, and um, my grandson, he always wants a snack when I pick him up from school, so I got these cheddar cheese individual little bags. It's a nine pack, and for $1.25, so that's pretty good, and then at work, sometimes I just want to have something that's crunchy, and I've gotten these before, and they're really good. There's browns, well, there's cinnamon and brown sugar biscuits. I don't know if you all have ever tried those before, but there's two of those in a package. And there's how many packages in here? I think there's, yeah, six packs of two. And it's low carb pretty much. I mean, I was on keto for a year and now I'm kind of like watching my carbs, but not as close as I was. This has 15 carbs, 3 grams of fat, and it's 100 calories for one pack of two. So it's just like something to snack on in between if you get hungry and need something. And then for my water, because I'm not a good water drinker. I wish I was. But I have gotten these before, and they taste so good. It's one of those powders that you put in your water. And it's sun-kissed orange peach mango. If y'all haven't tried that, this is so good. Um, I'm not a big peach lover or even mango lover, but for some reason, this just tastes amazing. And it also has a 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which you can't taste any type of vitamin E taste in it. It just tastes really good. It's five calories for one stick. It's two carbs and zero fat. It's 75 milligrams of sodium. But um, anyway, I just, I love these and I bought four boxes. It's hard to find these sometimes in the store. These are Dollar Tree items in case I didn't mention that. But they had a few of them today. Okay, so next, I got some things for birthdays, um, just, just a couple things. Both my grandson and my granddaughter are a month apart in birthdays, but four years apart in age. So I have a birthday in October and a birthday in November. So I, and my granddaughter, who's going to be two, loves Minnie Mouse. So I found at Dollar Tree a Minnie Mouse birthday card. 
And I found a cute little card for my grandson. He's really into orca whales and killer whales. And I did get him some birthday stuff that was um, orca whales. I got him a book bag for school that's covered in orca whales. And I got him a t-shirt with an orca whale. Unfortunately, I didn't have a birthday card with it, but that's okay. So I got him a card and then I, I'm, I got him a big bag to put his birthday presents in. So it's always good to shop at Dollar Tree for the wrapping papers and the, the bags and stuff because, you know, a dollar twenty five, you can't beat that. And then I got a pack of six poster boards. They're small size, but I, I use these for so many different things. Um, I make my own mat out of it for some um, smaller diamond paintings. And sometimes like when I have my arm on my diamond painting and I'm diamond painting, um, I put this under my arm because it doesn't stick. Well, it's not on the canvas part that's sticky. It's on the diamonds. So um, I don't really roll my painting. I just let it fall down towards my lap. But then I just put one of these little poster boards right there so that I'm not pressing with my skin on the diamonds. And what else do I have? If that makes sense. Okay, so then I got some cork. Cork sheets and they're self-adhesive. And the reason I got these, I was looking at the already made coaster rounds. And even at Timu, they're kind of expensive. Plus, they don't have the exact size. So for the um, posters that I bought that I haven't started yet, for the dogs, and they're made of wood. This is wood. I wanted to put some cork on the back. So I bought two sheets of this. I'm not sure how many I'll get out of this, maybe three or four, hopefully four. But I'm just going to trace around it and cut out my own, and then you peel off the back and stick it on. And it just is cheaper, so I got a dollar twenty-five each, so that would be two fifty. And that's probably the same price as Timu, but anyway, I like to make my own stuff. So um, I have that. And then I bought some frames. Now usually they're all eight and a half by eleven frames, and I'm like, Dollar Tree, I wish you'd get some other sizes. So I only found two of these, but I believe these are the 8x8 size. Where's my little cockatiel? Well, they might be a little bit bigger. So the one from Walmart is an 8x8. So this one is, I'm going to measure it. Sorry if that made a loud noise. That was my microphone that just fell on the floor. You got to be careful there. Okay, so I'm going to measure this frame on the inside. And it looks like it's eight and a half, and it's probably eight and a half the other way. Yeah, so this is an eight and a half inside. So this I could put like a little skinny mat around an eight by eight. And um, it would work out nice. And the back looks like this. And I got two of them. And, you know, a $1.25, you can't really beat that for a frame. So if Dollar Tree gets any more of these, I might pick them up because I, I have bought quite a few little ones to do for my granddaughter for her room. Um, I have a lion. I have a little kid. I have two little kitty cats. And um, so I am going to be needing frames for those. And then I got this frame. It's actually, I'm going to take that twine off and take the little clothespins out. But I'm thinking that this might fit. And it does kind of go over the edge a little bit. There's the edge. So it might, let's see. It might be too small. Let me measure the inside. So 
So it is 11 and a quarter. And this picture is 11 and three quarters. And then the canvas is eight. And the inside of this frame is seven and seven eighths, I would say. So I think I can make that work. I think actually even cutting off a little bit on the sides, it's not going to take away from the words. There's enough room on both sides. And then the top and the bottom, the bottom has plenty of room. So I am going to be able to use this frame. So I'm really happy about that. And it has, um, does it have a hook on the back? No, I don't think that's a hook, but I can actually uh, glue a little hook on there. Or I could use the command strips, which I probably might end up doing. And this is very light. So that's what I've got for that. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you what I did with my pen squishy. So I bought one of those blenders. And I, I saved the package, but it was like a little blender sponge that women buy to put on their foundation and their makeup. And I first tried to drill a hole through the middle of it with my drill, but sponge and the drill bit just, it just starts twisting it around. So I took a Phillips screwdriver and I just kept poking it in there and made a hole. And then I just was able to push it up over my pen. So this is the pen that I have, okay? And it's fatter than those basic kit pens, but it's not as fat as some of the pens. This one came with the screw-in tips, and um, and I really like it. I like the screw-on better than the ones that you just push in because these stay really secure and they don't come off. So. This was the blender sponge, and I wasn't sure which way to put it on. If I wanted the big end at the bottom, you know, this part is a little bit fatter than this part, but I tried it this way, and this is how I grip. And this is where the problem area is. It's this middle finger that pushes so hard against the pen that causes right down the center of the back of my hand to just ache. So this is super squishy and I don't have like washi tape wrapped around it because that, that irritates me feeling that tape between my fingers. But this is super squishy. So I'm going to, you know, of course, let you know if I like this or not. It's lightweight, so it doesn't add any, really any weight to the pen, but it just, I just think that it's going to make my grip a lot easier and softer. So, um, again, I got that at Dollar Tree. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that is it. So I hope you all are having a nice day. It is Monday. I'm working tomorrow. So I did want to get this video in the works before I start back to work again for the week. And... Um, until my next video, I hope you have great well-being and no one's getting sick and everyone's staying well. Um, it is getting into the flu season, I guess. So, you know, keep everyone in your prayers that everyone stays well. And I'll be seeing you on my next video. Y'all take care. God bless.